possibly do as a first year professional to impress and make us proud as an organization. We're just as proud um, of the way that he handled himself off the field, treating everybody with respect and, and uh, class um, as, as, as we are of the accomplishments on the field, which are uh, unique in a lot of respects. So he, he, had, he did everything he can do. He lived up, up to his end of the bargain. I just told him you know, the simple fact is we're not in a pennant race. And, for a first year, first year professional, we didn't miss any time. And, uh, it's a long season, it's a long grind, whether he realizes it or not. It's, it's appropriate to go home and rest, uh, go do some active rest physically, and then let, let some things soak in mentally and come back ready to go for what we hope will be um, a, you know, a seven month season for him next year. I certainly think he's close enough where he can start you know, setting his sights on the big leagues. You know, whenever that time comes, we don't know, but it's getting closer. And uh, it's a good chance that if he continues to develop, we'll spend you know, the vast majority of the big league uh, of 2015 in the big leagues. And you know, we, uh, we find a way to be a really competitive team. We're looking to play seven months, not six. And so the college season is only a few months long, and the minor league season is five months. And he's got to rest up and train himself for a seven month season. How do you, a lot uh, of attention, obviously, on the AAA. Oh. Yeah. Uh, AAA and the guys have come up, but down in Class A, you got a successful franchise in King County uh, with a set of you know, record for wins. Can you talk about the next wave of talent that will be coming through the system from there? Yeah, there's, there's, there are some exciting things happening in, in the lower minors, and King County has just been a remarkable success story with the Cougars this year. They just know how to win. They play, play the game the right way and they never give up. If I don't know offhand the number of comebacks they've had during the course of the season, but it's just, it's as many as I've ever seen in a minor league season. And they've gone through two or three different iterations of the, of the roster as well with how many promotions that they've had. So uh, Mark Johnson, uh, Dave Rosario, just done, uh, Tom Myers, just an incredible job as the coaching staff and the players have fun playing the game, play it the right way. They're proud to be Cubs. And, they think they're better than anyone else, and they went out and proved it, winning 90 games. So mm -hmm. it's exciting. I think I'll be there on Thursday night. And, uh, look forward to that success carrying over the Yeah, now they have a chance.